Hi guys, postman's bin. I don't know what this will be. Be some sewing needles. Oh, I don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely folded up in a bit of paper. Hand sewing needles. Focus, no. There we are. Hand sewing needles number six. Yeah, just needles. Why have I bought some needles? So I've been doing the solar pulse motors and I wanted to try some uh, different options with the magnet arrangements so I've printed off a few more discs but I only had one needle left and it was a different size to the one that I used so I thought if I bought, I think I bought 10 here, if they're all the same size, then we should be able to get some reasonably relevant comparisons between the different um, setups for the different uh, magnet arrangements. So that one in there at the moment it's using the solar innards from a solar rocker, Poundland, or solar wobbler as it calls that one. Uh, there'll be a link in the video description, but basically I take the solar rocker apart. carefully. It is quite easy to damage them and break the wires because they're hair thin wires. Let me just put that underneath one of the wires. And if you try and pull that coil off of the plastic, it's glued in place. You might be lucky, more likely you'll break it. So I actually cut the plastic and leave the coil on the plastic. So that's what that little bit on the front there is. That's the remains of the plastic backing. Circuit board goes in there. Solar panel sits on the top there. So we just, we don't even cut the wires or anything. It all just slots in place. But that particular one I've set up with them, it's got eight magnets in it. And in that one they're arranged north, south, north, south, north, south, all the way around. And there's eight of them. I was going to try it with just four. North, 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 or south, 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 and see if see what the difference is. And then that one, or that one, I will put all north in or all, all south in, eight of them. And just to get some comparison, I've reprinted the frame and this time, that's spare magnets, this time I've put a base on it to make it a little bit more stable. And also, instead of putting a magnet at the bottom, I've put this screw in there so I can actually screw it in and out to adjust the height. This is very much uh, inspired by lid motors approach to doing these pulse motors. So I'll have a magnet in the top to hold the needle, but the bottom, the idea is I can adjust that screw so it gives us just the right amount of height. 
that I just put one of these. in the top there and you should be able to demonstrate what I mean put it in the bottom first can't see what I'm doing right at the moment oh, at the moment it's on the outside I missed <laughs> do that again in and up Right, so that's arranged like that, but I can actually screw that in or out. So we can actually have it sitting. I prefer them to be hanging from the top, but if you have them supported from the bottom, then you can use the top of that screw as the bearing surface. You can even put a little bit of oil in there. So what I'll do is I'll take this one apart and make up another one of those here and then we'll try a few different types of arrangements of magnets. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.